Okay, so this is uh, the extra practice number two. This is the one with the lady in the stroller. All right, so we have a lady. Whoa. Okay, pushing a stroller. Okay, so I'm going to call her lady and stroller. And of course, we have the earth. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is draw the interaction diagram. So the lady touching the stroller. Stroller is touching the ground. The lady is touching the ground. And the lady and the earth and the stroller and the earth. All right, so let's look at both of them. So again, I recommend that you draw the diagram in the order that it looks on the picture. I think that's going to help you keep everything going the right direction. Okay. All right. So let's start with the lady. All right. So the easiest thing to start with is her interaction with the earth, which is the force of the gravity uh, on the lady from the earth. All right. And she uh, weighs, it says she weighs 480 Sorry, I think I paused it on accident, okay? So we drew the force of gravity, okay, on the lady from the earth, and that's 480 newtons. It says that she weighs 480 newtons, okay? So let's look at the lady. Let's see who she's interacting with. Okay, so we've got the lady in the earth. We have the lady in the ground and the lady in the stroller, okay? So if she's not moving up and down at all, she's not even moving, we know up and down our forces have to be balanced. So the surface is going to provide a normal force on the lady from the ground. That's also going to have to be 480 newtons so that that's balanced up and down. Mm, looks a little unbalanced. Make sure the sizes look good. Okay. All right. Now let's look and see what else is happening. Okay. Um, there's an interaction between the lady and the stroller. Okay. So you need to remember, this is where everyone keeps messing up. It's not what the lady is doing, it's what is being done to her, okay? So the lady is pushing the stroller to the right. Does that go on here? No, because it's not what she's doing, it's what's being done to her. So the lady pushes the stroller to the right, so the stroller pushes the lady to the left. She's the feeler. Okay, so the force from the stroller is going to actually be pointing to the left lady stroller. Okay, I'm going to change this to a capital L because it's getting me confused. Okay, all right, so you have to be careful. Everybody wants this one to go to the right because she is pushing to the right. It's not what she's doing, it's what's being done to her. All right, so she's moving at a constant speed also, okay then we know there has to be another force to balance this and this has to be the force of friction on the lady from the ground okay i think it said she was pushing with 25 newtons i hope let's double check yes okay she's pushing with 25 newtons all right so that means her feet have to provide a forward friction force of 25 newtons right because again if i look at her feet oops good okay if i look at her feet on the floor right okay her foot as she walks she's pushing backwards on the floor so that means the floor is pushing her forward she's the feeler she is being pushed to the right by the floor that's this force okay all right so let's look at the stroller all right so the stroller also is being pulled down by the earth on the stroller from the earth and in the problem, the mass of the stroller is given as 20 kilograms, okay? So to get the force of gravity, this is where I have to multiply by 10 newtons per kilogram to get the weight of the stroller, okay, which is 200 newtons. Remember, this one always goes on the FG. It doesn't go anywhere else. It's the FG. The stroller is not moving up and down, so the ground has to be pushing the stroller upward. This also is 200 newtons, okay? But notice, this was the one I put first. This is this, okay? This is just happens because it's balanced. Sometimes it's the same, sometimes there's extra forces, okay? But in this case, it happens to be the same, okay? Now you can do what you probably wanted to do before. The stroller is feeling a force to the right from the lady. The lady is pushing the stroller to the right, okay, 
with 25 newtons. That's the pair. That's how we knew this one was 25 newtons. Okay, I'm a little bit out of order there, I guess. Okay, because the interaction between them is the same both ways. See, same force type, feeler dealer have switched spots. LS and SL, those are switch spots. Okay, and if the stroller is moving at a constant speed, we know there must be friction from the ground that also has to be 25 newtons because these have to be balanced, okay, because of the constant speed, okay? But the only pairs are this. There can only be one pair. I have one feeler dealer, one feeler dealer. There's only two objects. There's only one pair. None of the rest of these can be pairs because there already is one. There's only one pair between two objects. Okay, all right. All of these other forces also have a pair. They're just not on this object. Okay, so for example, if I wanted to know the feeler dealer pair for the stroller's weight, I'd have the stroller and the earth. I'd need a force diagram of the earth to see that pair. This would be FGES would be 200 newtons. Okay, that guy's a pair. But see, now we've had a different object. Okay, each set of objects can only have one pair between them. 